so hello everyone so welcome to this new video so in this video we are going to continue with the model question paper 1 solutions for coa computer organization and architecture the subject code is bec 306 c and uh, we are starting today with the module 3 solutions okay so module 3 first question is define and interrupt and point out uh, and explain the various ways of enabling and disabling the interrupts okay so first thing we need to define the interrupt so that is this uh, this is done by sending a special this is a special hardware signal to the processor called as interrupt or at the interrupt uh, request line so the processor performs its own task without need of continuously checking the input output device that and all you need to be writing for interrupts so this is the basic block for an interrupt that is program one and program two and we will be having, having an interrupt between the program here so how it would tackle it okay so this was the all about explanations and all that is the routine executed in response to an interrupt request is called as interrupt service routine you need to write this point very important one and now enabling and disabling the interrupts so these are the points related to enabling and disabling the interrupts here and sequence of events involved in handling an uh, interrupt request again this is again an important point here you need to write all of this very carefully so the next question is explain the operation of a dma that is direct memory address with the need diagram okay so the direct memory address uh, these are the few, few key points that is the definition and the operation that how it works and this dma controller has these three parameters here that is the starting address uh, number of words and type of operation read or write operation so the how this dma controller works this is all the block here again so the status and controller register again used in dma you need to write it so the next question is write an explanatory note on interrupt hardware so for interrupt hardware you need to be writing a note here what is this interrupt hardware so write these points here along with that how this interrupt hardware works when we have multiple interrupts uh, in a single line attached to a source and a processor here so you need to be writing how this works here so here the basic logic is that the signal on the interrupt request line is a logical or a request from the several input output devices that is the interrupt is the sum of all the interrupts provided here okay interrupt routine that is in provided by the processor is the sum of all this so yeah so the next question is illustrate interrupt priority, priority scheme with need diagram so interrupt nesting write this priority scheme write there all the necessary points here you can pause it and refer it so privileged instruction write it down here that is the processor's priority is encoded in a few bits called as PS word the PS stands for processor status and the encoded bits can be changed by privileged instructions that we write into the PS and uh, uh, privileged instructions can be executed while processor is running under supervisor mode and all the privileged, uh, privileged exceptions also you can write it down so next question is distinguish between memory mapped input output and standard input output and write a program segment to read a line and text from keyboard and we need to display it okay so the first is the distinguish between a uh, memory mapped input output and uh, isolated input output here or a standard input output both are the same so write its uh, difference okay and the next question is explain the concept of vector interrupt so vector interrupt again this is a uh, vector interrupt that is this is a device requesting an interrupt identifies itself by sending a special code to processor over bus that is this helps to identify the interrupt in a program okay in a smooth manner so again these are the few points here you need to write it again so let's go to the fourth module now the fourth module first question is with an e diagram explain the principle of working of a magnetic disk here write the explanations and uh, this is the mechanical structure and uh, read write uh, structure of a magnetic disk here these two diagrams are very important again and uh, or write in the read write cycle what this uh, how would this be executed here you need to write it down here read write heads are maintained a small distance from the disk surfaces in order to achieve high bit densities these are all the points you need to remember so the next question is a very very important question this is a sure question okay uh, explain the internal organization of two megabit a DRAM chip with an e-diagram. This is a very very important question. You need to be uh, learning this first. Okay, it's a very important question. The internal internal organization of memory chips. Write these points and this block here is very very important here. These are used by the help of flip flops. 
so we they have asked uh, word lines if we have word lines we have 0 to 15 word lines and bit lines we are considering of 7 along with the four inputs here a0 a1 a2 and a3 and this is a address decoder here these are the memory cells and uh, read write circuits along with that they are connected to the bit lines okay so write these and write all the operations and write this bit organization okay so the next question is illustrate the internal structure of a static memory so what are these static memory this is the internal structure of a static memory and write it and uh, uh, here we have we'll be having two of the transistor here which is named t1 and t2 attached to it and the x and y are the inputs which are attached to a not gate and these are the bit lines here b and b dash and this is a word line okay we have two bit lines along with the word line here after that write all the read and write operations what will be the condition of the program yeah if you, have, you can pause the video and you can refer it if you want okay so with the need diagram explain the virtual memory organization the next question so write all about virtual memory here so let's go to the fifth model now. Explain single bus organization of the data path inside a processor. This is again a very important one, 9A. So I'm putting a tick here. This is a very important question here. Explain a single bus organization. So write here, single bus organization. So in a single bus organization, it's connected to an internal processor bus via MDR and MAR. That MDR stands for memory data register and MAR stands for memory address register. Write all the points and the instruction decoder and all the ALU, they will be having an arithmetic logic unit here, one MUX, along with that MAR and MDR, and we will be having a C internal processor bus. These are very important points that you need to be knowing it. And write its advantages, disadvantages and all. Okay, so then the next question is a program here again, that uh, some of the questions have not provided you all. Okay, so yeah. So these are the branching instructions which is required to build this program okay so i'm just going to tell you the logic for this program so try to write it on your own the programs okay so these are branching instructions in this way the program should be written first in this order the, these are the steps involved to write this program you can pause it and refer it if you want so the next question is the 10th question 10a describe a three, three bus organization of the data path with the need diagram my, uh, my three bus means we can say that it's a multiple bus organization. So in the multiple bus organization would be having more than two or three ports here. We need, and the steps of the program are here like this here. So write it down and uh, three bus organization. We have three bus C here, bus A, bus B and bus C. So and write all the, the necessary data and uh, how in this, how the program will be ex executed, write it down. These are the explanations. Okay. Step one, step two, step three, step four. So the next question is discussed hardwired control unit organization with the relevant diagram. Hardwired control. In this, uh, we would be having a decoder encoder block here. That uh, that is a combinational circuit that generates required control outputs depending on the state of all the inputs. So instruction decoder, step decoder, and all. And when run is one, uh, the counter is incremented, and one is uh, and then when run is zero, the counter stops counting. You need to be writing all the points write the advantage and disadvantages along with the block and the logic this is the logical one this is the block you need to be writing for hardware itself so yeah that's all so we have provided you with the model question paper one solutions for a coa computer organization and architecture you can refer it okay so you can comment down your queries again if you are having anything so we are not providing you with the other subjects uh, uh, we are model question paper solutions because uh, uh, those are the other uh, subjects that uh, we have not taken okay so yeah those who are all are having this uh, we have all opted the, this subject that is coa you can refer my videos okay so yeah that's all if you want other videos related to max you can uh, refer our channel okay please like share subscribe please please do that okay in order to be updated in our channel and press the bell icon so yeah that's all thank you